A percentage is a fraction whose numerator is the percentage and whose denominator is 100. You should be able to convert between percentages, fractions, and decimals. For example, let's say we want to convert into a fraction and then into a decimal, 25%. So a percentage is a fraction whose numerator is the percentage and whose denominator is 100. So 25% would be a fraction with numerator 25 and denominator 100. And so 25% is 25 one-hundredths. Now, if you're bored, you could actually reduce this to lowest terms, but there's almost never any good reason to do so, so we'll leave it in this form. To convert into a decimal, remember that the fraction a beaths can be converted into a decimal by finding the quotient a divided by b, and so 25 one-hundredths is 25 divided by 100, which will be 1 one hundredths. So the nice thing about math is that most things are reversible. So converting from a percentage to a decimal requires dividing by 100. So converting from a decimal back to a percentage requires multiplying by 100. So let's convert to a percentage. To convert to a percentage, multiply the decimal by 100. So 0 0.4 as a percentage will multiply by 100 and get. And this is a percentage, so remember to put the percent symbol afterwards. Likewise, 0 0.04 becomes and 0 0.004 becomes. The easiest way to convert from a fraction to a percentage is to convert to a decimal first and then to a percentage. So if we want to convert to a percentage 3 eighths, first we'll convert to a decimal. Remember the fraction a beaths can be converted into a decimal by doing the division a divided by b. So 3 eighths is 3 divided by 8, which will be... Now we can convert into a percentage by multiplying by 100, and so this becomes... And it's very important to remember to put down the percentage symbol, otherwise you're expressing a totally different number. Now one important thing is that if you get a repeating decimal, you'll need to make a decision on rounding. So remember the basic rule of rounding is round only at the end of the problem. For example, let's convert to the nearest whole percentage. So first, we'll convert to a decimal. 3 sevenths is equivalent to 3 divided by 7, which will be... Now, we shouldn't round until we get to the end of the problem. So if you're doing this on a calculator, the best thing to do is leave the result and just do the next step, which in this case is to multiply by 100. And now we're at the end of the problem, so now we can round to the nearest whole number.